Good morning. Welcome to day eight of Jot 40. Um, it is such a weird day out right now. Uh, I guess there's just this tropical depression looming over us. And it's not even that hot out. It's like 78 degrees right now. But it's so moist. The humidity is so thick. Um, it's like that kind of humidity where you're sweating while taking a shower. It's just that, like, just sticky and damp. Um, and there's just kind of this pressure from the atmosphere and it makes it feel like there's this impending storm just gonna swallow us whole. That kind of feeling of, of impending doom uh, from nature. Uh, and it kind of sums up how I feel about going into this Monday without Ben. Uh, now that I don't have someone backing me up, my schedule is already full. And if anything happens, any emergencies with any of my clients, I'm kind of like helpless. I, there's nothing I can do except screw someone over and, and cancel their appointment and move them and bump them. And I hate doing that. Uh, so it's really, really, uh, it's really a lot of pressure. And you know what the funny thing is, is it's not holding me down in any way. I just, I feel it. I'm aware of it. But it's not making me upset, which is great. I'm I'm kind of thankful for, for, uh, for that, because I can remember a time in my life where the the anxiety and panic would set in, and it would cripple me from just doing what I normally need to do. Um, you know, the best thing you can do in these situations is put one step in front of the other and just keep moving, and you deal with things as they come up. It's usually not as bad as you think it will be anyway. Um, but that brings me to another point, which is trying to find someone with a skill to work for you is hard. It's so hard. Um, you know, we've posted the job on a bunch of job search uh, sites. I mean, I've, I've paid a bunch of money to get the job listed. And, you know, the, the pickings are slim. It's really, really, the, the amount of people that apply for jobs that have no qualifications, they're not even in your industry, and they will apply. And you feel like contacting each and every one of them and be like, are you crazy? Is there something wrong with you? You're a stripper. You're not qualified to do IT repair work or consulting. Um, your job experience shows that you've been working in um, fast food restaurants and you can't just jump into something that takes years of, of schooling and years of, of actual hands-on experience to uh, be qualified for. Well, um, I don't know what goes on in people's minds, but it, it's really, there's a lot of noise that comes in when you're trying to find someone to work for you, uh, no matter what. The, um, no matter what your industry is. So I'll take that with a, you know, I'll take that as it is. Uh, somebody will come along. I'm not going to settle on a person. I got all excited. There was this one person whose resume looked great uh, and she had everything. She had references. She is very professional, but she's not in the right part of IT that I need. You know, she's in web development and I need somebody doing customer service. <sighs> One can only dream. All right, so um, I'm headed out to Kiowa Island right now, which is always a lovely drive. I wish it were a nicer day. It's kind of, you know, just gray. As you can see from outside the windows there, it's just bleh. But you know what? It's still a pretty drive. It's still a, a relaxing drive. I'm gonna enjoy it uh, while I've got the peace and quiet between now and then. I'll check back in with you later. Good afternoon. It's a, a really beautiful afternoon here in Seabrook Island. Uh, I went out to Kiowa this morning, did some work, and then I got a call right on the island adjacent to it, um, which is only like a five, 10 minute drive. So I took care of that person, and uh, their office is, is actually in the building on a marina. So 
took the opportunity to eat my lunch out here on the marina and enjoy this, you know, what turned into a sunny day, at least out here on the coast. I mean, one of the barrier islands, it's gorgeous. Um, so I hadn't seen this customer that I just saw in a while. Uh, last time I did work for her office, she was in Italy and her employees were here. Um, but the last time I saw her, I was about 70 pounds heavier than I am now. So uh, she was kind of shocked and she was asking about what I was eating. So then I thought, well, I could probably uh, share that information with you while I'm uh, eating my lunch. And so this is what I eat for lunch almost every day. A giant, huge tub of salad. So this is spinach, tomatoes, some, uh, some sweet peppers, blueberries, um, onions, and I've got some sesame sticks and some fake bacon, which is basically coconut, um, sh uh, you know, pieces of coconut with spices on it to make it taste kind of like bacon-ish. Uh, and then just balsamic vinegar, no oil. Uh, and then for spices, I put on some salt-free, um, like garlic and onion spice, as well as my favorite, which is curry. So I put curry powder on it, and uh, it actually turns into a, a very sweet, yet somewhat savory from the bacon um, flavoring to uh, spicy from the curry. So it, it's actually a, a complex palette of, of flavor. <laughs> going on in this salad and I eat the, I eat a variation of this every weekday I uh, bring it with me and then where I, wherever I'm at when it's time to eat I'll stop and have my lunch usually I'll eat my car um, just because I'll listen to the radio or listen to a podcast or something like that but uh, when I'm in a spot that's gorgeous like this there's no way I'm not coming outside and, and just enjoying it and uh, you can hear the fountain um, I'll take a little walking tour when I'm done. So I'll check back in and also I drink no soda except for LaCroix. That's awesome. I should get like paid for them, but I think everyone who drinks LaCroix wants to get paid from them because they think that they discovered it. Um, but it's obviously it's sold everywhere. So it's, it must be doing well. They must be doing very well. They don't need my uh, attention. All right. Talk to you later. heading to yoga and I'm in the passenger seat guess who's driving dun, 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 dun. Mackenzie's going to her first yoga class and she's driving me there are you excited about yoga I'm not pointing it at you so you can talk no. you're not excited about yoga are you saying that because I'm recording a video no, no. well then why are we going Hopefully you'll have a better reaction than mom did. All right, talk to you in a bit. All right, Mac, how was your first yoga class? Um, pretty good. What happened? I almost passed out, but like, we're good, guys, we're good. The grind never stops. So you're gonna go back? Yeah. You're gonna invite friends? Yeah, the grind never stops, guys. <laughs> All right. Thanks. There you go, there you have it. Mackenzie's now addicted to yoga. Does this microphone sound any better than not using one at all? That is the question. And also, it looks really cool right now with the sun behind us. I don't know.